Hello and welcome back to my channel. So it's absolutely wild to me. The last time I filmed a laundry room organization video was when I was 39 weeks pregnant with Carter. And I vividly remember editing the video while I was in active labor and I would edit in between contractions because I really wanted to have the video up before I gave birth. Yeah, I had issues. It's been about four and a half years and let's just say that a certain somebody that I live with and I'm married to has completely dismantled my organization system. So it's time to reorganize the space and I'm gonna focus on space saving and space maximizing ideas because we have a really small and tight space. It's actually in a walkway, so we need to maximize the space that we have, but really these ideas will work for any size laundry room, whatever you're working with. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna organize here are our detergents. And I'm gonna share lots of different options with you because I love options. Now, of course, you could just use the detergent container that it comes in, but most of the time, let's be honest, they're kind of ugly. So I found this adorable detergent dispenser, which is not only so cute, but it's also functional because it has the pump and the pump is so much easier to work with. You just do a little squirt squirt and you're good to go. I have grown to love this ultra bougie laundry detergent that has a really beautiful strong fragrance. Look, Bougie Ryan, he's been rubbing off on me after all these years. Welcome to the good life. First, bougie laundry detergent. Next, you'll be with me on my yacht headed to Abiva. Cheers. Now, if you are more of a laundry jug type person, they have this contraption that I saw and I just had to show you because I think it's so cool. So you put your laundry detergent jug on here and it has a little holder for you so you could just very neatly and easily dispense the detergent. And another little hack here is if the cap gets slimy and there's spills on it, you can actually just pop it in the wash with your clothing and it will get nice and cleaned out. Take it out and you have a clean cap again. For the rest of my laundry essentials, I got these glass jars with lids and they just look nice and streamlined and they're clear so you can see what's inside. So in my first glass container, I put my OxyClean powder. We do white towels and white sheets just because I find if I add in the OxyClean with it, they stay nice and white and bright and stain free versus if I use a color that will fade over time. So just a personal preference. The next glass container I use to put laundry pods in. Look, sometimes I like to mix it up and use a laundry pod. Just very easy to just pop it in and in the glass container, they look nice and neat. Next thing I'm gonna put in one of these clear jars are my downy unstoppable beads. These smell so incredibly good and strong. A little goes a long way. I got some new scents, so I'm gonna have Ryan come on and do a little smell test. Ryan's gonna close his eyes and describe the scent. Hmm, prancing through a meadow. Fresh, clean baby. Summer dew nights. Last one. Ah. <laughs> and what I saw going around on TikTok, it's actually a viral trend of just pouring these into glass containers and making cool, pretty aesthetic designs. So look, you can use them if you want. They smell amazing. Or you could just keep them in there for a little laundry room decoration. Nobody's gonna know. And the last thing I'm gonna put in a clear jar are my laundry dryer balls. I've upgraded, okay? We've gone from the boring balls to, wait for it, wait for it, you are not ready, animal balls. This is going to bring me joy every day while I'm doing laundry. I've been talking about my dryer balls for a very long time. In case you've never heard of them, you could pop some of these in with your wet clothes in the dryer and they will help aerate the clothes. So they move between the clothes in the dryer and it helps them dry faster and more efficiently. But wait, there's more you guys. When I saw these, I about fell out of my chair. I was so excited. I mean, granted, I'm a little strange, so maybe it's just me. They have laundry room labels, organization labels, pre-made, and these look so nice, so chic. This takes your organization not just to the next level, to the next stratosphere. We're on the rocket ship with Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, and Elon Musk. We're on the moon. There's 144 labels, so anything you need to label in your laundry room, there's a label for that. This next one is right up there as one of my most favorite things for organizing ever, especially if you have limited space in your laundry room. It is this ultra narrow organizing rack on wheels. 
No tools required, super easy to assemble. It's only $23 and it has three different shelves for you to put all the rest of your laundry room supplies. And it is so narrow, it will fit in the tiniest of spaces. And because it's on wheels, it's very easy to grab whatever you need, push it back in. Another option is to put your extra supplies in bins and use your cute little labels and label those bins. I put stuff up there that I don't need to reach for as often. Now, I think we all have the problem of lost rogue socks. Where did it go? Where did it come from? So I found this and I just, had to have it, it's the cutest ever. So whenever I find a little random sock hanging out, I can put it on one of these little clothes pins and he can find his mate again. I love things that are both cute and functional because this becomes organization decor in your laundry room. I put this little clip on hook on the side of our front loading washing machine and I put a microfiber cloth on here just as a reminder to always dry out the gasket in between uses, otherwise, that gasket becomes a moldy, smelly mess and it drastically reduces the lifespan. So just by having it here on a clip makes it really easy to see, remember to do, and it's so convenient. So if you do have a front-loading washer, I recommend that you keep your cleaning cloth right there so you don't forget. Now, every single laundry space, no matter how big or how small, needs a lint bin. I know there are people out there who just ball up the lint and throw it behind the dryer in hopes that it miraculously evaporates. But that actually does become a fire hazard, so make sure you don't do that and have some sort of a lint bin. They now make these magnetic lint bins. I had just a basic one, but I saw that they make these cuter ones and I just, I had to have it, I'm sorry. This one has the lid on it, but it's magnetic, so you can just stick it right on the side of your dryer so it doesn't take up any space. It also has the option on here, you could drill it into the wall if you wanna go that route as well, and then you can still remove it if you need to dump it. I'm a huge fan of the magnetic lint bin, so brilliant, but I'm not done yet, okay? Now there's even more magnetic things. So this is a magnetic dryer sheet dispenser that also sticks right there on the side of your dryer, or you could even put it on top, but I love how this looks as well. I think it just looks really chic. So this actually came in a set also with this one, which says pocket treasures. So if you do find little knickknacks in you know, your washing machine, in the pockets, of your clothes as you're washing them. You can have a designated space for them. Just such a nice, cute touch to have in your laundry room. The other thing that came in the set was this brush. And I'm looking at this like, what? What is this? Does anyone know what this is? This looks like an industrial sized spoolie brush that Ryan can use on his monster unibrow, maybe? So in terms of drying racks, I know a lot of people around the world don't use dryers and instead they air dry their clothes. This drying rack we have, I love because it folds very compact yet again. So I just store it next to my washing machine and I do like to air dry, especially my leggings and athletic wear because it helps prevent pilling and it helps them last quite a lot longer. Not to mention air drying your clothes is a lot more energy efficient. Another option that you can use for either your dry cleaning clothes or clothes that you are air drying is this collapsible drying rack that hangs on the back of the door. So I love how it uses otherwise underutilized space on the back of the door. You can open it up or collapse it down when it's not in use. Now let's talk hampers. I'll share some options with you just depending on your style, what you like. First thing, I love these hampers on wheels. There's different ones, but they have three or four different compartments. You can roll them around the house. If you're limited on space, a similar option that I came across, I absolutely love this, it's so adorable, is this hamper because you see it's nice and slim and it's also on wheels, but this is much more lightweight. This is also narrow enough that you can tuck it in your laundry room in between your wash and dryer or next to it. Now what we generally use are these two types of pop-up hampers. First are these ultra budget friendly pop-up hampers. They're really inexpensive, but what I love about these is they're really easy to fold and pop in. So I hang it from the back of the door. Another really cool pop-up hamper that I came across recently, they're the basket hampers, but they also fold down and can be stored in a narrow storage space. And what I like about the hamper bins is that you can fold your clothes 
put them in the bin and then transport them upstairs and put them back in your drawers that way. And last little touches in your laundry room. Look at the lighting situation, light fixtures that you have in your laundry room. It's often overlooked, but I'm telling you, changing out to a nicer light fixture can totally transform the vibe and the look of a space. So this is definitely a worthy upgrade if you have an old dated light fixture. As another little decor piece, I have this little sign that not only looks cute, but it tells you all the different symbols that you can find on your tags and what they mean. So you can use it as a reference sheet, but it also looks like decoration. They have prints that you can frame, but I love the idea of having these in the laundry room that you can also reference if you need it. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for this week. And if you wanna keep the laundry train going, I highly recommend you check out the video I did recently for different tips of cutting your time in half doing laundry. And they really do work. So I'm gonna have that video maybe right about here. Check that out next. And with all of that said, don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Find me on Instagram at Vassar Beauty for more daily content. And with all of that said, I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.